Hello, I'm Sam from Solid State Logic, and welcome to our next live series video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new L650 and L450 consoles, as well as the new SSL Live V5 update. 2021 sees two new introductions to the SSL Live console family. Firmly at the forefront of our Surface lineup, the new L650 that I have beside me today and the L450 consoles show our dedication to furthering the power and flexibility of our console range. After talking to many of our fellow engineers, as well as assessing our current live console lineup, we decided that the L200's unique ergonomic shape should be the base point for our new consoles. Its three-tile layout with cutaways for external screens has proved massively popular due to keeping line of sight to stage and to the artist at a premium. L650 is the most powerful SSL Live console to date, featuring next generation OCP processing with 312 fully processed paths. This provides significantly higher DSP capacity for the most demanding of live applications. Hardware consists of three continuous fader tiles, one, two, and three from left to right, the one-to-one -one channel tile for tactile hands-on control, and the master fader tile as seen throughout the SSL Live range. L650 also hosts the 19-inch high-res touchscreen we are familiar with from the live L550 and L350 consoles. L450 also benefits from the next generation of OCP processing power, with 240 fully processed paths available to the engineer. The physical difference lies in control surface tiles. The L450 hardware consists of three fader tiles, one, two, and three, from left to right, the channel control tile is replaced with a tablet panel as seen in the L200 and the master fader tile is the same as seen in the L650. The L450 also includes the 19-inch high-resolution touchscreen from the L350 and L550 consoles. Both the L650 and L450 provide a fully formed set of local I.O. Each console hosts 16 super analog mic line inputs as well as 16 super analog outputs. 8 AES inputs and outputs, access to both blacklight and xlight for high channel count connectivity in both the MADI and Dante domains, the local Dante connectivity port, local BNC and optical MADI connectivity, a dedicated MADI effects loop for external processor integration, and the dedicated sync panel. As always, the live software and control interface is common to all console models, providing users a seamless transition from one console to another. If you can use one, you can use them all. Live 5.0 sees the introduction of plus processing packs for the L100, L200, L350 and L550 consoles. These licensable packs deliver a practical increase in DSP capacity, ensuring existing inventory remains current and delivers continued performance into the future. The following table shows the processing upgrades available for each of the consoles within the live range. Here you will see the current processing values versus the new updated packages for L100 to 100 plus, L200 to 200 plus, L350 to L350 plus, and L550 to 550 plus. As you can see, there is a significant increase in fully processed paths across all of the current consoles in the range, providing extra DSP capacity for when required on high demand productions. There's also no need to worry about show file compatibility with the new processing packs whilst in the field. Compatibility mode will allow show files to be loaded on any live console regardless of the console model. Engineers can then decide which paths to enable and disable to fit the processing power available. We are pleased to announce a new partnership with Maya Sound that allows users to control positioning of their sources within the Spacemap Go immersive loudspeaker system. Spacemap Go is designed to give engineers a powerful spatial mixing tool that expands creative possibilities without taking them out of their normal mixing workflow. From straight front of house mixes through to immersive theatrical shows, we can now control Spacemap Go directly from the live console surface. Up to 32 sources can be configured in Spacemap Go, all of which can be controlled from the console interface with common parameters available for easy access and control. In addition, we also provide control of the Spacemap Go main output level. Sure, ULXD, an Axiant digital wireless mic control, is now available from the console's channels, allowing for tighter integration across the platforms. Gain and mute control of the preamp is accessible, as well as monitoring of battery 
and RF status, all directly from the SSL console interface. Dante enabled sure ULXD and Axiant digital wireless receivers can be added as Dante devices and routed as normal from within the console menus. Control of ELISA parameters from the quick controls beneath the main screen has been improved following initial user feedback. The gearing of the pan and pan spread controls has been improved to provide greater resolution and the console quick control mappings have been rearranged to follow the order of controls as they appear in ELISA controller. This allows for greater consistency between the workflow of the two interfaces. Path Recall Safe, formerly labelled Automation Recall Protect, has been extended to include access to individual path processing blocks. This provides a quick and simple way from within the channel view to recall safe a particular processing element of the path. The channel view recall safe blocks will override all seen automation recall filters. We have also added other miscellaneous updates including overview screen improvements, routing interface improvements, TACO solo and mute button additions, and event manager improvements. The full 5.0 update list can be found at the SSL website. All of the features we have talked about today can be practiced on our offline software Salsa, which is available to download for free at the link in the description. Thanks for watching.